Hello children, welcome to this week's Sunday Club. This week we're joined by my cat, Jinx. Isn't she pretty? Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. I am not afraid, no, no, no. I am not dismayed, not me. For I am walking in faith and victory. Come on, walk in faith and victory. For the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. I am not afraid, no, no, no. I am not dismayed, not me. For I am walking in faith and victory. Come on, walk in faith and victory. For the Lord your God is with you. children we're going to read a story from the bible today about Rahab and the spies. Forty years had passed since Moses died and God chose Joshua to take his place as a leader. The time had come to conquer Canaan, the promised land. The Israelites camped on the far side of the river Jordan opposite the city of Jericho. Joshua sent two spies across the river. To avoid suspicion, they stayed that night at the house of Rahab, a lady, but the king of Jericho got to know about it and sent his men to capture them. Rahab quickly hid the spies on the roof of her house, under the flax that she had spread out to dry. Our flax is a bit like it would have been a bit like a mat and they would have been under there. When the king's men came, she told them the two strangers had gone. Then she went to the spies and said, I know that God has given this land to the Israelites. We have heard how he brought you out of Egypt and we're all very afraid. Promise me that my family and I will be safe when you take the city. You have saved our lives, said the men. We promise if you don't tell anyone what we've been doing. Rahab lived in a house built into the city wall. So she let the men down from the window by a rope and they escaped to report back to Joshua. But before they left, they gave her a red cord to tie onto the window so they would know which house was hers when they captured the city. So here's a picture of the two spies and here's the red rope and they've escaped from this window and got out of the city. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye. The bit of a craft we're gonna to do today relates to next week's story, but you'll be able to make it and go through the story and do it yourself. And it concerns Joshua crossing the River Jordan. Now, we're gonna make a little diorama, a little picture of him crossing the River Jordan. Well, what you need is the printouts from the bottom of this video. You've got links on there, and that's the printout of the the River Jordan, when it's parted so that they could cross. The Ark of the Covenant that went. The odd donkey, because they had their stuff with them. A camel. Three of the Israelites. And there's Joshua. So the first thing you have to do is colour them in. Now, to do that, use some crayons. I'm not going to show you how to do that, because you could probably do that better than I can. So, the other thing we have to do now is cut them out. This one we keep whole because that will just, when the time comes, it will just bend in the middle. Like that to give us the parted river and the river bed. So let's start putting them out. 
Well, you've probably seen enough of that now, which is pretty boring. So, here's some I did earlier. We have, as you see, the river bed and the river held up behind it. And here you have the people and the donkey, Joshua and the Ark of the Covenant. Those have been coloured in there. What you have to do, you've got these white tabs on the bottom and you have to bend them over. Now it's best if these are printed out in card, but if you can't do that, print them out on paper and glue them to, them to some light card, such as a, a cereal packet, an old cereal packet. You might also want to make a little card bit for that if you've done it on ordinary card, a thicker card to make a base, but we can get away without it. And so there we are, they're all coloured in, and we can put them crossing the Jordan. Make our little donkey, fold over the little tab, We have Joshua leading. The people of Israel. Oops. Following on. And where is my camel? There we have a little camel with them. And that's what it looks like. You can arrange them how you like, but it's always good fun to take them across the river. Okay, we will see you next week. Bye bye. We're gonna try and learn a memory verse now. And it comes from Joshua, the story you've just heard. And it's Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. And it says this, Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Something we can all remember. Now, we're going to try it with a little clapping game. And it starts like this. We're going to clap with our hands, clap on our knees. And it starts with a clap on the knees. B. Strong clap with your hands and clap on the knees. Courageous is three claps with your hands. Courageous. Do not be is three claps on the knees. Do not be. Terrified, three claps with the hands. Terrified. And then four, one clap with the hands. The, one clap on the knees. Lord, clap with your hands. Your, clap on the knees. God, clap with your hands. Will be is two claps on the knees. Will be with you, two claps with your hands. With you, where, knees, ever, hands, you, knees, go. Do you think we can do that? Let's try it. I keep getting it wrong, but we'll give it a go. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Be strong and courageous. Do not. Try it again next week. Bye. Hello, children. In today's story, we see that Israel, they now have a new leader. His name is Joshua. He's taken over from Moses. And I think that must have been a little bit scary for him to take on such a big, such a big task. Of leading the people but God told him that he would never leave him and he would never forsake him and that he needed to be brave and strong now 
when we have to do things that we can find quite challenging, very difficult, it is good to remember this and to ask God to be with us and help us to be brave and strong in the things that he's asking us to do. And he will do it. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you that we can rely on you to help us in times when we face things that might be difficult and a bit challenging for us. We ask that you would help us, Lord, to be brave and strong and to remember that you are with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye. See you next week.